You are now listening to Mr. Gentleman Like That Podcast Presents, the old school show with Ken, a.k.a. Mr. Gentleman. And the star Roddy Rod, where we talk anything old school. True! We're going to dive into the 90s, and I'm not going to hold you down. You got a lot of amazing shows, man. G. Luis. So let's get to it. Let's get to it, because this could be a long episode, y'all. Yeah. Let's talk about Fresh Prince. Man. Uncle Phil. I want to go first, but I have so much to say. Uh, James Avery. Go ahead, James go ahead, Ryan. Go, go first, Ryan. Let, let it go ahead, King. Go ahead. First thing first, let's meet the Uncle Phil. For real. You, you too, Ryan. Everybody, everybody, everybody say, you ready to rest with Uncle Phil, man. Rest in peace, Uncle Phil, bro. That show. The Fresh, Prince, the Fresh Prince, though, man, that is a legendary show, man. Like different, like, different. Like, the, the, style, the style, the well, style. first thing, the style. Like with Will came with the styles, man. Um, it was mad funny. I go, but this is one show. Like I said, one of my favorite shows from the '90s. I go watch this show all the time, even to now. With Farrow, um, Farrow Rivera, man, Carton. Oh, I'm Farrow Rivera, yeah. Yeah, yeah, father Rivera, of course. Hatiana Ali. Hatiana Ali. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my, my oh. other crush. My other crush, Tatiana Ali. I don't That's know if really. you guys, if you guys know this, that the so for me the scene, and I think everybody cries no matter how old we are with the scene with um, Will and Uncle uh, Phil about oh, why man. he was hit by his father. So oh, y'all do man. know that they went off script and kept recording. Yeah. Yeah, none yeah, of that I did, was yeah. ever. I didn't know that. None of I that, that was yeah, ever. I knew that. It was. It, uh, there was a part where it ended, but they just kept going and they kept recording it. And so that and that was him kind of just letting things out. So like that episode, um, the boys be replayed. That that uh, wow. Oh, I'm gonna cry thinking about it. <laughs> the one where Carlton was called a sellout. There was there was show clips for that too. Hmm. When Carlton was called a sellout, that they would show clips of that one too. Oh, okay. But um but, Which one's but again, out? like as far as you know, you gotta just think even now and even and I work in the educational field, so I can say mm-hmm. this, that even my students now, some of the things that they wear, I'm like, I know this. How do you know this? You know, <laughs> because you thankfully, <laughs> you know, people they're they're watching the shows and know what's what. And I think that, you know, the certain shows in the nineties was whether it was Fresh Prince, Martin, which we'll discuss, that yeah. was so influential. It is influential, sorry y'all, Man, on sorry. the the culture and what we wore and how we spoke and what we, you know, and things of that nature. Um, we all remember jazz always getting thrown out the house but yeah. <laughs> You, you know, um, Thanks. Hillary. Hillary was, uh, but we we had to love uh, a black girl in luxury. Had to love fact, it, fact, fact, you know. Fact. Um, and I love seeing when they did the reunion with two years ago. Oh yes, yeah. yes you know. Yes, and yes. I and I love seeing more than anything the two Aunt Vids say. Yes. Well, I love seeing Me Will too. and the original having that conversation, but seeing yeah. them together was like wow. It was because amazing. It, you know, it, it, it was amazing, was, yo. Man, no, it was amazing. That was amazing, y'all. And no, Hillary, no. I love you. <laughs> you like, what's up, Trevor? Like, why, sir? Why did you? Hello, what, what happened? But I have a first thing for it. Go back to that scene about the um, Will Smith and Uncle Phil. Yeah, that scene was always touched me every time I watched that. You know, that scene always was deep. You know. Also, if um, you don't if you don't cry when you watch that, then you know. Nah, nah, I, I, I got emotional. I got emotional. It was sad. I, I got emotional. That's sad, bro. Another, another scene that touched me when Will got shot and we, and Clark didn't want to get revenge. Oh, Carlton blamed himself. Yeah, and he Carlton. Got the gun. And, mm-hmm. and, and Will was like, "Yo, give me the gun! Give mm-hmm. me the gun!" That's that's. Yeah, I don't remember that. That mm-hmm. scene that, that touched me. Also, when Roddy mentioned about on Carlton and the sellout when the dude who he was trying to get in, into the frat. And the dude, and yeah. the dude was like, I to say that's another scene. Like, I love that scene too. I love, I love Will Smith. I love. Um, Fred, Fred, Wasn't I love, it like they said that know. Carlton wasn't black enough or something? Was yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that yeah, that yeah. Right, they did. Yeah, 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 so yeah, I yeah, remember, yeah, that I remember one, yeah, that, that actor, and I, I, I like him, and I remember watching that episode. Like, you're not black enough to be in this frat, or so on and so forth. And then this the conversation of, well, how do you? Pro- prove your blackness or what makes you black enough you know why yeah. is it it was almost like in in 
in retrospect, it was like, what is the issue with black people in luxury, not luxury per se, but being able to afford a lifestyle? Why yeah, does that yeah, make yeah. up as less than as someone else? I'm not going to put race on it, but just as someone else. Yeah. But um, oh, but also what you mentioned about the reunion, I I love to see, I love the fact that they got closure and they made up. I love that too. And she just, you know, ODG, uh, she she was just want to answer that. And I happy that she finally got an answer. She finally and then finally made up. And now he supported her a lot more now. And she back on doing other roles. I happy and yeah, I'm just happy, you know. And, and and not and not for nothing. I feel like the original Aunt Viv. We remember the day that she danced her ass off in front of oh, those yeah. other girls. Like for me, I, again, and this is like, like when I think of Fresh Prince, I think about a lot of episodes where I remember Aunt Viv hitting the everybody and hitting. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, you know, just you know. But like one thing, like I, I hit it. I love both on um, Viv, um, but I feel like the original one was like more of a the strong black woman, and that could do oh, anything. Wow. And by the second on um, she was like more laid back. And nothing wrong with her too. I like her, and nothing wrong with her. But you know, she was just too laid back for me. You know, it didn't give me that same. It didn't, it didn't give me that same energy. You know. Mm-hmm. But and was- and and I think that the fact that even though we're showing again, like um. Family matters because I don't remember if the Cosby Show touched on things like that then. But I, the fact that even though yes, this is a a, a wealthy or, or influential African American family, they still had real life issues to deal with. Again, yeah. like you said, it's Will got good. shot. There was yeah. an episode. I think Carlson and Will got arrested together. Oh yeah, there yeah, things, yeah. There they were did, things yeah. that they they were able to still have those conversations about. Or even the fact that Will was t- like he was raised in West Philadelphia in the hood, and now he has to move because you know whatever reasons and then seeing the dynamic and 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 it's funny uh, between um and viv and her sisters which reminds me of my mom and her sisters like there was so many things that were so relatable um to to That's that what made so and um, and i thought was, was john amos is lisa's dad i feel like he was yeah he was he was he was yeah yeah so and and they also had people on there they also you know definitely did what needed to be done for the culture um yeah. so yeah love it uh, and you took everything i wanted to say <laughs> I'm there you go there you go no, i don't say that now i'm sorry there you go <laughs> now what about jeffrey <laughs> Oh, no, no, we got shout. Oh, yeah, yeah, we got shout to homie Jeffrey too. Jeffrey was funny, yo. Jeffrey, Jeffrey was and his guy. jokes. They call him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Master Will. Master Will. Master Will. The Captain. What the Uncle Phil? Yeah, you know, we, we, I love Fresh Fresh, yo. Yeah, uh, like I said, I can't, anytime, I can't wait, man. Me too. Me too. Yeah, I can't wait for the re- can't wait for the um, not even reboot. The Bel Air. I don't, I, don't, I, don't even call, I don't even know what to call it, but I can't wait for that shit. It's, it's not that. a reboot. I would just call it a, re, a recall or, or something. A, a, the, recre- you know, recreation. Recreation. Yeah. Right? Not a recreation. Yeah, something. yeah. Yeah. At that point. So, yeah. So next, <laughs> we, next, so next we're going to talk about... We, we go, I'm going to switch up the list a little bit. Next we're going to talk about another funny show in the 90s. One of the, one, another funny show. We're going to talk about Martin. So we're going to talk about the culture. Let's talk about Martin. I have a shenane. It's like a dream. Can I hold you close? Keeping you warm. Well, first thing first, Martin was creative, son. But especially he with all the characters. And I ain't gonna hold you, even though Steve, even though Steve did it too. Cause that gets Steve's prop. I felt like Martin though, it was more of a comedian standpoint, because he was a comedian. He, he was know, also, he, wasn't he an executive producer also? Yeah, he was, yeah, yeah, he, he was, he was, he was. He was an EP also, so he has had a lot of say in his work. Yeah, and, um, he had a lot of freedom, he had a lot of freedom, a lot of creative control, and, yeah. and, and you want to talk about people who had cameos of people pulling up and coming through? Oh my God, because, Martin because, had, because, oh my God. Because he was the DJ and stuff, that was his thing, you know, whatever. And I love the fact that they kind of showed a parallel of a, of a relationship and the fact that I'm gonna choose my words wisely. <laughs> that you had a relationship in which the woman was the breadwinner per se, like in that because yeah. you didn't see that per se because money was never really discussed like that. I don't. I want to say in other shows. Yeah. I think this is the first time that that conversation was had and, and things of that nature. But still, she still made Martin feel like the man. It didn't matter how yep. much she was bringing home. She was he was still the man of the relationship and the house and so on and so forth. And the episode when he proposes to her in the park, 
Oh yeah, but Brian McKnight, Brian McKnight was there. Like, oh yeah, Brian McKnight. Like Brian when McKnight. I tell, like he, attention to detail, gentlemen, is very important. And when you yep. know your lady, he, and he nailed every aspect of of what it needed to be and stuff. And the fact that they showed the vulnerability of their relationship, again, he was fly. Gina was fly. Pam was back. T- Tanisha Arnold's body was yep. crazy in the night. Yep, yeah, it was. It was. Um, <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. Um, I was inspired by Martin with the radio show. Cause, oh, wow. Cause, cause yeah, I was. I was low key. I was as a kid. I guess I wouldn't do radio since I was a kid. So I was shy. But look at me now. That's one. Yeah. <laughs> two. <laughs> two. Um. Yeah. Uh, Martin. Yeah. Martin, yeah. Was, Martin was funny. Well, first thing first, recipe Tommy. First thing first, yeah. recipe Tommy. Yeah, Tommy Tommy another, Ford. another Tommy Ford. Another person, man. She the we almost every show we is somebody that passed away. That's crazy. Yes, it is. Um. Mm-hmm. um Old. They're all time. Uh, like I said, a lot of guest appearances. We have Martin. I mean, we had Biggie. <laughs> we had Jackie Chan. We had um Kid and Play. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, but, but, we had, but, we but, had but, Kid, but, not Play, but we had Kid. Okay, um, okay, my boy. You remember oh, Tommy Davidson, the Renard? Hey, Tommy Davidson. Oh, oh, my favorite. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Now the boxer guy. You know, and then we can't point forget. Point that, um, That's my favorite. One of my favorite characters. One of my favorite characters too. And and you and you can't forget when you go to the to the nail salon, always make sure you go to on, on work on Myra's feet. Oh because, yeah. Yes. You know, and I feel like he was like Martin played at least what five or six characters, I wanna say. That is six. It was six? Yeah. yeah. It, 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 he, it played a, he played Nene. Nene. you had Nene. you had Jerome, Romy Rome, you had the mother, you had the little boy. What was the little boy's name? Yeah. Ah then you had um the 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 not the ninja man, but the karate man. Karate man five. I forgot his name. I'm sorry, y'all. So he played Oh the cop the oh the cop, the cop. The cop got really cop oh, too, right? Yes, yes. yes. And, one, so, and one more person, and and, and the and the um, was he a guy that worked in the car? Like a guy working the car? You get your no good. Oh, you don't, that's, oh. that's Jerome. Wasn't that Jerome? No, nah, no, nah, that's somebody different. No, 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 somebody different. Somebody don't you know no good. Isn't that isn't that Jerome? Don't you know no good? Isn't that Jerome? Nah, nah, Jerome, Jerome is, um, Jerome, Jerome in the house. house. Watch him out. Okay, so yeah, so he plays six characters. Hey, six of characters, he's a okay, yeah. So yeah, that's a lot of people. Six that's a lot of people, yeah, that is a lot of people. And you know, he had, yeah, oh, oh, he had oh, a lot oh, of Wait, wait, seven, the white guy. Remember, the white guy in a couple episodes, oh, the white guy. Oh, we had a party, we're gonna the, party. Yeah, 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 yeah Mario with, yeah, 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 with the white guy too, yeah, he played a white guy too. I gotta remember yeah. that, I remember it that. It was, it's, it's Ricky, no, not Ricky, I think it was Ricky. And Ricky, yeah, yeah. yeah it, it, he he was was a, so you remember the episode? Yeah. Wait, hold on, Rob. Let me refresh his memory. So when um, Pam and Gina went on a business trip, and then Martin ended up driving down there with them, and he hid under the bed, and they were oh, having yeah, parties. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we like the party. We had Mark readers. We have all the things. Yeah, that, that character. Yeah, yeah. It was like, uh, like he went. Yeah, the but fact it, it that was, I can fall on crazy. Yeah, it, it was only like a few episodes. He played. He didn't play him that much. He didn't play him that much though. He only played like good two or three episodes, I think. Yeah. I did not the least character, but yeah, but Martin, gee, that dude was creative. Don't forget the styles too. Um, yeah, shout out again. He he was wearing Jordans. He was he had all that. That show. Yeah, he the throwback jerseys. Though even the trend of representing HBCUs again. Yeah, that's another thing. Yeah. That's I thing. feel like he. I don't remember if I don't think Fresh Prince did it, but I didn't know they did. Started, they did. They did. They did. Like, like in the in the latter in the latter years. But yeah. I, but again, those were the ones rocking the Howard, you know, the, yeah. the hoodies yeah. and so on and so forth. So they started that trend of HBCUs and oh, what they wearing? Okay, let me Google. This. Well, not Google, Google the out then. Let me go. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't Googling that. <laughs> it wasn't Googling, you know. But um, I have to go to your nearest um guy on the corner and hope they had it. Yeah, but it made them actual curious, store. It, it made them curious to see, you know, who are these names on these shirts or who, who exactly. what are these things, and they ask questions. So yeah, shout out to Martin for that. Yeah, Martin did a good job, but I mean, of course they ended. I mean, I guess you know, bad with a lot of drama, you know, with him and Gina and stuff like that, and we don't have to get into that, but you know. Um, but, yeah. but they made, but they made up in real life. Which oh yeah, they didn't met up in life. Yeah, they didn't met up in life. Which was, which was good to see. Um, yeah, him yeah. And, and um, Tisha Campbell. And it's crazy that some people don't realize that Tisha Campbell and Tanisha Arnold have been friends for over thirty plus years. Dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right they they were in, 
is it is it school was it school days together but they've been friends for years yeah, like 30 was, 40 uh, plus years yeah and um i believe i believe little shop of horrors too they were the, they were the yeah. singers little shop of horrors mm-hmm. too yeah they were yeah, yeah so, and um, um yeah but and they I could actually they, sing in real life they, they could yeah they could yeah well. yeah it's yeah, they both really could. Fun. They both could. But you know, um, like I said, that's to be Tommy. There was, there was, they, 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 they did, they did want to do a re- reboot or revive or, or a re-sequel. But, but they, Tommy, don't wanna, they don't want to. Yeah, do they, they don't want to do it without Tommy. Yeah. So they don't, crazy fact there. is, random fact. So years ago, it had at least to be like fifteen years ago, maybe. Me and my mother went to BBQs, and I forgot which one it was. We literally walk in. We're waiting for the table. We sit down, and who was sitting waiting for his food? Garrett Morgan. I'm oh, like, wow. that's the- wow. I'm looking, and she's like, "Do you know who that is?" And I'm looking, but I like I'm a kid or a child. When I, I oh, 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 yeah, the legend, the legend. Yeah, that so I'm looking, and I'm like, that is. That's- that's the man from Martin, just sitting there humble in BBQs, eating his food. He was being nice to everyone. He just, he was, like, I was just like, oh my God, like, sir, you, you're a part of history. Do you not know this? Like, do you know sure, who you sure, are? He, sure, he on another show. He on another show on the list, too. So we're going to talk about that. Too. I believe he, yeah, he on another show on the list, too. That is crazy, Fauna. Thanks for that story. Yeah. But yeah. I didn't even get to talk. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're gonna say I'm sorry, Rod. I'm sorry, Rod. Right. Yeah, you're my bad, Roddy. Yeah, my bad, Rod. We got carry, Roddy. My bad, Roddy. Good to you, son. Good boy. You're gonna say. <laughs> yeah, Martin, you know, is it was a crazy show. I still, I was still watching, like, even now. That I have I have my couple of episodes. They had a lot of cameos. They had Tyrese when he was singing on there. Oh, yeah, right, 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 right. I remember yeah. that. Yeah. Um... Uh- what else they had? They had. I remember they had Snoop on there and Biggie, of course. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, Cole, um, Cole and Big Shirley and um, Cole with the other girl later. Well, thank you, so, thank you so much, Nikki Cook. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, thank yeah. you, thank 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 you, Hey, you can't that's not fair. That. I can't even think. I can't even think. Um, I gotta say one, one. Um, the proposal, mm-hmm. the, wedding, the, the, the wedding, and um, one more, one more, and um, uh, this is one more. I it's three. I know the proposal, okay. the wedding, and it's one more. You gotta pick two, yeah. man. Okay. Five. 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 And um, I, I, I only any any scene in any episode with the mother was in because that because. Martin, who played the mother, always was hilarious, son. No matter what, like any scene where Martin played the mother, like yeah. Yeah. Was, All right. I, cool. 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 Yeah. What, what about you, Bondo? And I got one more fun fact. I just done. One so you said fact. the proposal. So I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna pick that one. I am gonna pick Chilligan's Island. Mm, oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Yes. Oh, um, and the, I gotta love, oh, is it the Ella Shanene or when she had the tickets for the, for the game, for the Bulls game? Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's oh, that's cool though. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's funny. Man. That's I funny. must put them in half and put them in the <laughs> Yeah, I, I love that one. But Chilligan's Island is definitely an epic episode for, it was, for, it was. for, for Martin. It was. Roddy, what about you, yo? The one where, um, Martin had the game, had had everybody come to the house and he had hosted the game to watch the game, I think. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy yeah, yeah. one. The oh, game was, was a fight. On. I remember oh, yeah, I didn't, it was a fight. 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 And then Pam and Shanane got into it in the hallway and she oh, got yeah, locked yeah. out. The Not only them, um, I think Tommy, Tommy and Uncle because some girl that was talking to us, something like that, and it was, it was a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, that oh the, yeah, that was the episode of the fight. So Cole brought the girl in, they were oh, kind yeah. of talking, and then somebody walked in on Tommy making out with the girl on the bed, and oh, then yeah. they brought the fight in the back, and because Martin missed half the fight, he was like, who's taking the bets? So we about to go. Yes. Oh, yeah. And then the first one, 
when Martin didn't have no job and he was trying to go to um, Whitney Houston concert. And uh, what was it, bro, man? Him and bro, man, was trying to sell Whitney Hutton t-shirts. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, I, do, yeah. <laughs> I, I, do, I do remember that. I do remember that one. I, I like, I, I like, of course we watched that one. All right, so I got one fun fact and we go to the next topic about Martin. So I believe Martin was supposed to get a spinoff. I, I, I say this because if you remember the episode where Pam had the record label episode, I think that he would put she would get a, put a spin off with her working in the record label. But I don't think it never got picked up though. I believe that because that was the only episode that didn't have anybody in it. Yeah, yeah, it, that was mm-hmm. I believe that was the, I believe that was the back door pilot, but I think I think it didn't get picked up though. So, mm-hmm. I just wanted, so I just wanted to mention that you know. Mm-hmm. You know and homegirl so. from um, Blossom was in it. The girl they speak really fast. Oh, she was, a, yeah. she was the assistant. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. And you know what's yep. funny? You know what's funny? Let's talk about Blossom. You know, Blossom. Let's talk about Blossom. Hey, y'all want Blossom? So can I just say, Blossom? can I say one thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. That's it. <laughs> that. That's it. That's what I want to say. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. Blossom was a cool show. Um, Like I said, it had the girl from, from of course, the Big Bang Theory, who, who also um, the host of Jeopardy now, doing big things. Also, we got Stevie from Parker's in it when she was younger. She always used to talk fast. Of course, we got Joey Lawrence, of course. Whoa! <laughs> that's like um, Stevie's first role, right? Uh, was probably. Nah, no, it wasn't. It wasn't his first role. I think he had another role. He, he did the commercial. I think, it probably was his first TV role, though. Probably her first TV. Okay, go on. Yeah, but um, I, I used to watch this a lot. I remember this used to come out at the uh, Fresh Prince on in NBC. And then um, it was a cool show. It, it took about issues as well. It was like you know, I gotta watch it again to refresh my memory a lot more. But I enjoyed Blossom when it was on. When it was on TV. Kind of, kind of, kind of underrated, honestly. You, I mean, it, you know what I actually remember, and I honestly don't remember a lot of episodes, so I apologize. But I remember her wearing that damn bucket hat because I used to love oh, wearing yeah, that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they yeah. used to have like back in the nineties. Y'all remember like the floral jumpsuit, the the, the, the floral shit. Yeah, I re- mm-hmm. yeah, that was a blossom stage for me. It yeah, the shout out, shout out to that, shout out to Blossom. So yeah, it was. All right, yeah. so I'm not, I'll switch my list a little bit because, you know, since you missed your blocks, I wanted to switch it up. So I'm going to go back a little bit. Let's go, let's go Boy Meets World. This is Boy Meets World. Oh, wow. Boy Meets World. Yeah. I have about Boy Meets World. This is Boy Meets World. Boy Meets World, man. <laughs> I was a big fan of Boy Meets World. I give that show a 9 out of 10 for sure. Oh, nah. I was a big fan of that show, too, actually, yo. I was a big fan so, of that like, show, too. You will see me glued to the to, to freaking TGIF every freaking Friday for that show. TGIF. Yep. You After Fanny Matters. I'm After Fanny Matters. I'm not going to lie. Like, um, of course, I love Mr. Feeney. I loved... Um, Feeney? Mr. Feeney? <laughs> sorry, sorry. It was crazy because, like, the show... The show, the, the the earlier versions with Minkus, I didn't I didn't have a feel for it too much. I watch it now, I'm like, uh. But like the later versions, I was more in love with with the um when they didn't have Minkus. So, no, I, I agree. I agree with you. I agree with you. I don't know. It's like I know the, and then of course like the storylines with Eric and um, Sean's storylines was really good. Um, Topanga, who else was in there? Um, the sister and the parents. Um, and of course, it was just a great show, man. I have nothing good to say about it. I'm glad that, you know, it, I was so in love with it that I, I definitely watched Girl Meets World because of it. So, yeah. I mean, I'm not going to hold you. Baby Word was one of my favorite shows. I used to watch it every Friday night, right after Fame. I didn't miss it, right? right? Yeah, I never missed it. Yeah, exactly. Um, I, I agree with you. Um, I, I I love the show as a whole, but I I, I didn't care for the earlier seasons, especially now. I only watched the like season four, season four and beyond, basically when they got older. But, like when they were they were you know, actually season three when they go to high school, and then I started watching it a lot more. I had another ninety crush to pay with my another ninety crush that I had. Ah. And um, and I feel bad. We had to mention Michelle Thomas, yo, Myra, Fanny Matters. That was another one, but you know, but to be Michelle Thomas. But yeah, but back to fa- um, um, Boy Me World. But yeah, like I said earlier, um, that even though Steve Urkel didn't make a 
make a they come in Boy Meets World. They mentioned Steve Urkel on Boy Meets World before, which is weird. <laughs> which is weird. But um, I enjoyed Boy Meets World, y'all. I love that show, man. And um, it taught it helped me, you know, you know become a, a man, a man in, in a sort of sense. Boy Meets World, yeah. Why about you, Bana? I feel like I'm about to get on series and stuff. I feel like um, I love Boy Meets World, but I also, in retrospect now, and especially with the work that I do now, I appreciate a Mr. Feeney because Mr. Feeney saw yes. his students when they didn't see themselves. I agree. He, he didn't look at color. He didn't look at anything. He saw them for who they were. Um, and I think that everyone deserves a Mr. Feeney in their life. So I think that's why I'm so transparent in the work that I do now with my students. Um, so that was important. Uh, I love I love the aspect of because Sean was like he just was all over the place and whatever. Yeah. But Corey's yes, Corey, right? Yes, yeah. Corey, His yeah, yeah. family o- always made Sean know that he's family. It doesn't matter yep. if you're not our ch- like whatever he they were always that. Um, yep. and I love that. Um, the aspect of just you know. I, I, I was here for it, but I was definitely here for Mr. Feeney and and the certain and certain things that he said or that he did or I didn't he live right next door to them? Yep, yep, he did. Yep. He did. So it was very too close to home, which I can understand too, working in the education field. You know, but when they see you in the classroom and outside the classroom and, and you're able to see them and speak to them, that makes a big impact. So I, I was definitely here for the lessons that Mr. Feeney yeah. gave and when everyone went to college and then they brought in Angela because before then, <coughs> excuse me, I don't remember, and I, I'm not bringing it back to race, y'all, but I just don't remember seeing a, another, a predominant African-American woman on that cast. Mm, that's true, yeah. Angela, yeah, yeah. Angela came in, Angela came in unapologetic. She came in, I feel like her yep. hair was natural. She just came in yep. just being her, you know? And so I was I was definitely here for, here for it. So it was good, good run. Yeah, also, you know, yeah, shout out to Mr. Feeney, um, Daniel, William, I did William Daniel's his name. Yo, legend right there, legend right there, man. I, you know, I did have that Mr. Feeney in real life, though, too, so I ain't gonna hold you. So, it did, so yeah, um, I love Mr. Feeney, I love Mr. Feeney. He's been good to help Mr. Feeney. We need, yeah. we, we like having you around. Facts, yo, legend it, right there. It's definitely important. So, yeah, I think in a weird way, he's kind of shaped me to how to deal with my students. Oh, Not in a weird nice, way, but in a nice. way like when I speak to them or things are happening and how I look at them and how I approach them, you know, it's seeing them for, you know, the the bodies and human beings that they are and not just as, oh, you're a teenager and you're stacking up. It's, it's that. So shout out to my kids. Shout out to my students. I love y'all. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> no, I, I love I, I love you, bro. I love you, bro. I mean, I didn't wish, I didn't wish Gorby more wasn't so cheesy, man. That's, that's, that's it. But, um, yeah, let's carry on. Next we got Living Single. I know you mentioned earlier that Living Single was in the same set as Fanny Member on the pilot. Mm-hmm. It definitely yeah, was. A, I'm gonna I'll, I'll send you I'll send you the picture on the side so you can definitely see it. Cause I, I, I had it. To double check some it. For y'all. But, yeah, I'll send it I'll send it to both of y'all. Um I'll send it to y'all on the gram. Um nice, nice, but yeah, nice. it was definitely the same set. I absolutely obsess love care for living single because i feel like it just even now i can watch it now and it still sits with me i feel like i see a lot of my close female girlfriends female friends in my life like we can identify as if not one character but like multiple pieces of the character Mm -hmm. um i love the fact that um queen latifah came in and she wasn't your normal um, what's the word I want to how I want to word this? She wasn't your normal what they were used to. She was full yeah. figure. She was whatever. She was an unapologetic. She was a rapper. She was this, and she was still able to take to, to embrace a role and run with it. And one of the reasons why I think I also became a communications major and things and what I do now um, is was because of people like women like her and seeing her in that role. Um, I love the regimes of the world because, you know, black girl luxury exists. I'm here for it. Um, so I, I, I can watch it, right. I might watch it after this and just, I I love it. I I loved it. I'm so here for it. Um, no wrong in my book. Um, 
I enjoy living single. I mean, of course, I can't watch it all the time because you know it, it's more related to ladies. But um, I, I I enjoy living single. It's a good show. I love um I love my favorite character Ray G. I <laughs> tell the back. Ray but G was my favorite character. I ain't gonna hold you. Just one thing though, Ken. I mean, Mr. Yeah. Gentleman, that yeah. this was <laughs> the Black Friends before. Fr- yeah, it, 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 it was. It was. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. No, it was. I agree. No, 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 no,
So you guys respectfully, I'm gonna sit this one out because I <laughs> No. I've only seen about three episodes. I know what? Ashton Kutcher was on it and Mila or yep. something. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, I couldn't. Yeah. I, maybe now, but uh, y'all have fun. I'll be back once we're done. <laughs> <Yes, sorry. laughs> God. I, um, I, I can hold you. Um, when, when it was aired, Aaron, when, when it was on Aaron, actually, Aaron, I, I didn't watch it. I watched it later. And when I, I you know like like one day it was on TV, I, and I watched it, and for some reason I, I really liked it, you know. And then yeah, you know, I'm like, not gonna lie, yeah. Yeah. I'm the same as you because like it would come on when I was getting dressed for high school. Yeah, that's when it would air. So yeah, I'm getting dressed and I'm watching it. And I'm like, hey, this is nice. Exactly. Maybe while exactly. I'm putting on my clothes and trying to get out the door for school. Yeah. So like Eric. And his mom and his dad. Oh my god! My favorite characters, <laughs> like they're just wow. Yeah. And I know my favorite character is Kelso. Actually, Kelso, Kelso yeah, he's cool yo, too. Nah, he no. Nah, Ashton was hilarious, yo. He was hilarious on that show. Like, I ain't gonna hold you. He, he was, was hilarious. Cool. Um, Jackie, um, the, you know, Mila, Mila character who he married in real life, and she was funny too. Um, uh, of course, Fez. Fez, Fez was hilarious. Fez was, bro. Yeah, and um, the other dude, I forgot his, I forgot his name. I can't think of the um, oh, I, I can't think of the other dude name right now. But um, Steve. And called, is it Steve? Yeah, Steve. Wait, is it Steve? I just listened up. Yeah. Oh, Steve. Yeah, Steve. Yeah, well, Steve. Hi. Yeah. Hi, there, there you go. Hi, there you go. Hi, there you go. There you go. There you Everybody go. was addressed by last names, huh? Yeah, there you go. Hi, yeah, hi, hi was hilarious too, yo. He, he, he was like he was like a I don't care person like he was I don't care person and of course we got the and we got Donna who was like so like always like the, the tomboy types Donna and you know my favorite thing about the seventy so when they did the circle when they they be in a circle and they smoking weed and it's like they get hide in the circle that was always my favorite scene every time uh, in the seventy show it was it was actually a cool dope show I'm not it was it was it was and I I, 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 I had, I end up watching it. Um, I end up watch, even though after at the end, I end up watching all the seasons. As, you know, wow. the last season. Yeah, even though the last it was it had eight seasons, I think. Eight. Wow. Yeah, it had eight seasons. Um, I know because I remember the last season Eric left the show, and and they replaced it with somebody else. Of course, it gotta be it gotta be that one person that leads the show, and they change the character, and then the show go bad after that. It's always seem to, to it's always seem to go that route, but um. That's not show. Sure the show. I enjoyed it. Um, if it comes on any time, right? Yeah, that's not sure. I, I can actually watch it any time. I ain't gonna hold you. And um, yeah, finally gonna come back now. So the, the next show, we got Thea. Riley, do you remember Thea? No, I did not watch it. I just only watched it when I was watching um, Brandy's story. Not at all. All right, so so me and Vana, so me and Vana, me and Vana can handle this. How you feel about Thea, Vana? Shout out to Brandy with the Young Bangs. Facts. Okay, and I want to say the mother from Thea is the same. Um, who's the auntie from the Wiz? I feel like that's the same woman. Oh when wow! She's, I, I want to say that's who that is. I can it, let me double. You know, I'm gonna Google it to double check. It, it probably uh, is. I, it, it probably. I, I, like I would not be surprised. I would not be surprised. Probably is. Um. So yeah. So I loved it. I love seeing um again another. She looks similar to her, but I could be wrong. But I'm gonna I'm a double check and you know get my facts together. But I love the <laughs> but Brandy O's young ass bangs or will always be everything for me because I love Brandy. We all know that. I love um, too, but so I, I love the issue again. A single mom raising our family and just you know giving them tough love. I, I loved it. They only had one season, but I do remember watching that show and, and loving it. Um, I I remember watching it too. I didn't watch it that much because I don't remember what channel it was on. Was it on which channel? What channel was it on? Do look that up. Um, it, was, it was also on ABC as well. Oh, it was on ABC. Okay, so I do. So I do. I do remember ABC. watching it. Was also <laughs> so on ABC the, as well. So I do remember watching. I called Brandy, Rick, Jason well. Reba, I, Jason Reba, my guy. And so I remember. It, it, I remember it being a funny show. Like I said, this one I was trying to refresh my memory though, because I haven't watched it in a very long time. 
But um, I did I did remember I watched like two episodes or thirty three episodes recently, and I enjoyed it. And um, I I remember that I, I gotta watch it again. Now. I gotta just refresh my memory. But you know, um, to stay on the brandy train, to stay on the brandy train. Let's talk about Moesha. Mo to the E to the. Go do your thing, Vada. I know you. I know you. Want to... Oh, I want to know, know who was pregnant. I think I know. I think I know who. I think I know who. I think it was Moesha. I think Mo was pregnant yeah. with Hakeem's baby. Yep. Um. However, I I appreciate like the topic they spoke about. Shout out to Fredo Star. You know, Queens, oh, Onyx, Rigo. You know, back, shout out to Queens. You know, girl. um, shout out to Fredo Star. Um. And Dell also, cause she passed away like years ago because she had cancer and she passed away. Um, but I think that was the first time I actually like remember seeing Bernie Mac in my like as a child was that show because remember him him and Dell were dating and oh, like yeah, dating yeah, yeah, on the yeah, show yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Um, I love the way that they incorporated a blended family and had the uncomfortable conversations about you know Moesha and the son. Well, was the son D's child? Wait, I don't remember. Lord Jesus. So I love the fact that they kind of focused on or kind of spoke about Moesha and D kind of learning how to coexist as far as a daughter and a step parent. Um, so I love that. I was here for her two best friends, um, the two of them, Kim and Kim and Nisi. Yes. Yeah. Um, and I also feel like that was the first time that I remember seeing Monique because that's when they introduced her was also on Moesha. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was the, but, yeah. yeah, it was the back door. Yeah, when yeah. Monique came, in. it was the back door part of the pocket. Back we're door, the pocket yeah. we're gonna, but, um, um, and then I remember seeing Kobe on there. Um, yep. I remember the episode they did, and then One Twelve was on it. So it was so many things that Moesha did, and. Again, she went from that to doing Cinderella, and like as a child, Mo- nice. Brandy was every- Brandy is everything for me as a child. So I had the the Brandy doll. I had all the above. So I, I love Moesha. I was here for it. I like the fact that she made sure that her brother could eat Ray J, and that he was mm-hmm. the the extra child from an uh, extra marital affair, which is crazy. Yeah, we don't talk about that. Oof, you yeah. know, but I. I but I also thought it was real. It was like stuff that's right. happening. Yeah. You know, stuff that was really going down. And I ain't going to hold you. I enjoy Moesha. You know, like I said, I'm a Brandy fan too. Um, Moesha was definitely one of my favorite shows in the 90s as well. I, I could watch that all the time. I, um, yeah, it was a lot of cameos on that show as well. Like you mentioned Kobe. You mentioned um, Womia was on there. Um, you know, Q, you know, Fred, Fred the Star. And many more, and uh, I enjoyed Moesha. You know, like I said, I'm gonna say how it ended. Like I'm gonna say how it ended. You know, that got everybody really upset. I liked it. I liked it when the season. I ain't gonna hold you. I liked. I liked it when the show got dark. I'm not even gonna hold you. Like I enjoyed it when the show got dark, even though it was because they're showing reality of family. You know, and I, and I don't see the issue of you know showing reality of family. So I liked it when the season got dark. You know it. Dorian became their brother, stuff like that. Yeah, I enjoyed Moesha. What about you, Roddy? Moesha was good. Um, for a while, though, while it was airing, I I do I, I kind of watch it, but I kind of dubbed it more as a um, teen girl show. So like, I didn't care to keep up with it as much, but. Um, once they started to bring in Ray J and the storyline started to twist, it caught my attention again. And that's just how I felt about the show. Um, Hakeem was always cool too on the show. Yeah. yeah. Once coming over, he acted like the, um, eating, eating the breakfast with them, you know, acting like the son that they didn't have, a brother they never had. Um, you know, rest in peace, of course, also to Ando. She Yeah, yeah. They had they was going to her spot and chill. It's a hangout. So um Facts, facts. Yeah, Moesha was cool and it also spinned off to Parker, so you know. Yeah. Which we Didn't go to- Hakeem passed away. I hate calling him by his yeah. Hakeem name. But he passed away and passed away too, right? No? He did. Yeah, he did, yeah, he did. He did. Um, he did. 
Um, I'm trying to remember how. I think he had a car accident. I believe. I yeah, I feel like him and like um, Merle Santana, that was the Steve Harvey sh- Harvey yeah. show, because that kind of was similar. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, like I said I enjoyed my show. That I thought about Parkers. Hey, go for this is a long episode, y'all. I mean, that that's about Parkers. This is yeah. We we get in, into it. Back, yo. We're gonna, we're gonna run it up a little bit quick, a little bit. Like, yeah, let's go around real quick. I like the Parker. I like the Parker. Oh, you wanna go with me? No, go ahead. Go ahead, King. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I like the. I like the formula of the part because it was it was cool. Like no, it was actually funny though. Like what drew me was the the comedy. You know, Kim was acting all dumb, and you had Monique, and you had um, Professor Ogilvy and T, and they had their yeah. singing group. Yeah, free time. You know, it was good that they was rapping and singing and stuff. You know that I I enjoyed that part the most. You know that they was doing their singing stuff. And it has some really dope, dope music. Like the yeah, freestyle itself, freestyle unity, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, you know me, I'm always a fan of shows where they where they bring live performances and the actual music that the people make are actually really, you know, relatable and I can sing along to. Yeah, so, I agree. I think um, Tommy was in there as the um, the father for for Kim. Oh yeah, for Kim. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was. And then it was crazy the storyline with um, Professor Ogilvy wanting to um, profess confess her lo- his love to to Nikki Parker when the other guy. Uh, yes. You're when she about to get married. Yeah, word. And um, I think Kim. Kim went with the guy Darrell to um, Vegas and get ma- got married, or they and they stopped it, or no? Um, I did stop. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They stopped it. Yeah, they stopped it. So yeah, so um, yeah, the Parkers is a good watch. I'll still watch it anytime it comes on. That's all I got for it. Um, for me, the Parkers, I like the Parkers. It's not my favorite show to watch, but I did enjoy it. Like I said, I enjoy Kim. I'm um, being dumb. I enjoyed it. Um, I enjoyed the, the Frita Unity Part Two. It, it wasn't my favorite show, like how like um, Moesha, but I did enjoy Pocket though. Bana, what about you, Bana? I feel like I'm about to be on serious. Like I'm like, oh, wow. <laughs> here I go. So I kind of feel like. Um, in the sense of Parker's, again, just like a living single, you know, you have a female or women, both um, counts as one, who are not your typical mainstream female that you would go at after, plus size or whatever you want to call it. So let's, you know, plus size, full figure, whatever the case may be. Yeah. And so it was, it was, it's nice to see um, <clears throat> shows that were mindful of body representation mm. and like not you know and, and like you said right like at the end of the day press over me was like I love you I'm here for you or whatever but you were over here playing her because of she wasn't you know what you wanted back, back. she is what she wanted you know, I mean. and so I, I'm I'm all here for that. I love the Parkers. I was here for seeing like the mama and the daughter in the matching outfits and just being whatever. Um, so I loved it, but I also like, love the fact that they were mindful of representation as far as body types, body sizes, and you know all that other stuff. So I was here for it. I agree. Yeah. So that's dope. That's dope. Next we got in the house. I have to about in the house. I always like to say that queens get the money. <laughs> oh boy. Shout out to Ladies Love Cool J. Um, <laughs> so I loved it. I was here for it. I, again, Debbie Allen is a, a... Yes, Debbie Allen, yes. Is an icon. She is amazing. And I love what she curated with that show. I love the fact that she, again, single mom, you hire uh, someone to assist you in your house happens to be a black, a black man again portraying the the a black male in another light which we're not used to seeing we're not used to seeing a black male being you know helping around the house we're not used to we weren't used to that at that time 
Um, so I love how they did that. I love the fact that LL was able to curate and take his career to another level, being on a sitcom and talking about those uncomfortable things and so on and so forth. So I, I was here for it. I loved in the house. I, I was here for it. That's I, I, I enjoy. I enjoy in the house. You know, uh, like it's the first season that had Debbie Allen on the show, and then later the brother Kim, um, Kim, Kim, Kim Wayne. You know, the Wayne brother's sister. And then my father with Robert joined the show. And, uh, and I enjoyed it, you know. Um it, you know, it went downhill in the last season though. When they when they when when they don't know where to place the channel, because first it was on NBC, then they moved it to UPN, and they did UPN for like good I, for like, good three seasons, and then they went back to they went back to um NBC during the last season when they only had five episodes. And you came on at I think at one o'clock in the morning. And, and it was only just Elo Cool J and my father Roberto at the only two cats left in the, on the last season. Like, dang. Like, dang, I feel, I feel bad for that show. Yo. I ain't gonna hold you. Like, it I feel was, bad for that show. It was a downfall. Like, the show could have had more success if these events didn't happen the way they did. I, 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 I believe it could have been more successful, but it is, it, it is what it is. It happens. I agree. I agree. I mean, it didn't stop that low. He went on to do other things. I mean, of course, of course. But I mean, I enjoy it. I I enjoy it in the house. But I didn't wish that you know the way it ended did had to end the way it did. You know, and then and then the the way they switched the channel, they had to play it, put the show at one o'clock in the morning or twelve o'clock at night. I'm up there playing late, where at a time slot where nobody would watch it. Like, I like NBC dumbness, yo. NBC dumbness, man. I swear, we, we, should, we should not support NBC, y'all. I swear, y'all. <laughs> NBC be bugging, y'all. <laughs> they about to bring out a whole bunch of stuff. <sighs> NBC, man. I swear, man. Let, I, 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 I carry on. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get set to talk about this <laughs> next show. Next show, we got sister, sister. How you feel about sister, sister? Sister, sister. Go home, Roger. Fact, Marky Houston, my guy. Like what about that, you, Vanna? Oh, oh, my bad. My bad, Roddy. Good to you. Yeah. Um, you know, the only part I really looked forward to was to go home, Roger, because it was two twins. That that was that was my thing, you know. You know, of course, um, Ray was the man, too. And then Roger, because he, he also. And then it was crazy seeing how, like, Lisa and Ray could live together and not like co-parent and stuff. It was it was mm-hmm. it was different. It was. Um originally, you know, since the was originally on I believe ABC. Really? Yeah, it was. I didn't even know that either until I looked it up. Then they moved it to WB. Like um late, later. I it on WB though. Yeah. Yeah, but it was on ABC first. I guess the pilot was on ABC and then they moved it to WB. Through the the whole run. Um I ain't gonna hold you. Um I enjoy Sister Sister, you know it was a good show. Um, of course, I enjoy Marky Houston Part Two with with Roger. Actually, Shaggy one of my favorite characters. Actually, um, I even like the dark, I even like the later season though when they brought um, the two dudes. I forgot the name. I can't think of their name right now. But um, I, I enjoyed this. It, like it was Tyreek and Tyreek um, and um, I want to say Jordan. 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 Yeah, yeah, Jordan. Yeah, yeah, Tyreek and Jordan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jordan. Yeah, Jordan. Yeah, yeah. Um, I so I liked it because I liked the aspect of co-parenting that they showed, which was kind of interesting because again the girls were adopted, but they kind of just showed that aspect of co-parenting. Yeah. yeah, I think that was the first time that that was actually shown. Um, and I remember like them talking about like their hair and going, and here I go being serious again. Like you know, <laughs> like oh, well, my hair is curly, but I want to be straight. And they talk about they talk about a lot of great things and good things. Um, and I like seeing the evolution of the characters of Tia and Samira as the teenagers and then them going up to college. So I was here for it. I liked it. I was, I, I liked it. In fact, I do, I do too, yeah, I do too. And next we got Smart Guy. With the Smart Guy. Do, 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 do. Which is funny because that's their brother. So it's just all. Yeah, right. I know, right? I know, yeah, right? That's the brother. Todd, Todd, my guy. Todd Murray, my Todd guy. Murray. And Jason Weaver. I feel like Jason Weaver. <laughs> closer 
So as a culture, I feel like we don't put a lot of respect in that man's name, and we need to. Nah, we we need to really understand, like Jason Weaver is one of the. I, 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 Goat might be, I don't know, but he. Uh, Jason Weaver's a top two guy. Like you would him, but you like he and he's also like smart financially. Like even when you yeah. watch his episodes on how um his mother or yeah. him they both in his deal for the Lion King, he's getting paid until he's six feet under. Yeah, like, really? yeah, yeah, yeah. He, 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 he get paid no matter what. Yeah, he get paid no matter, no matter what. what. But then again, paid. he was the kid. He was the um, Michael Jackson on the American Dream. Yeah, he was exactly. that too. That too. That too. So he had residuals, but even with the Lion King, when they run it, but even the the remake, he got money off of that. So, oh wow! I didn't know about the remake. Wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. I'm, I'm pretty sure he got money off that. But but you know, what's funny. I actually watched the American Dream today. Funny thing about it, I actually bought the American Dream today. That's the funny That's thing about actually it. one of my favorite movies in the world. I could watch it seven my, hours straight my, and not get up. And I know, I know all too. the words, and I don't care. Facts, yo. Facts, me too, yo. Shout out to Jason Weeby, yo. But Smart Guy, I enjoyed Smart Guy though. Like, um, it was a good show. My old, my guy also, um, um, Omari, um, Omar Gooden too. Omar Gooden. No, Oh my goodness! Wait, well, how much my guy to see his brothers Cooper Gooden Jr. Like yeah, yeah, people yeah, always yeah. say, put some respect on their names. Yeah, talk exactly. The, the legends, man. The yeah. legend. And, that, and I mentioned this on, I believe, the old school show. They are making a reboot for the Smart Guy on for Disney Plus. So really, yep, it's coming. They're coming. Taj Mario announced it. Taj Mario announced it. Taj Mario announced it. So and all, all of them coming back. All of them coming back. So. So I guess this is a I guess this is a week or I guess because all of them coming back. Wow. So yeah. And then like, and then of course Jay, Jason Weaver killed that one call away song. Oh yeah, I got yeah that yeah. I was listening y'all listen to that other day too. Yo, <laughs> yo, shout out to Jason Weaver, son. That's my guy, son. He did a lot, shout bro. Put For some real, respect yeah. on that king's name is what I'm gonna keep saying. I agree, yo. <laughs> my God, I agree. But since we since we want to stay on the WB route, let's talk about Jamie Foxx show. Oh sure. Yeah, I come here, I come here, I come. Yo, I I was a big fan of Jamie Foxx show when it came on, bro. You do not know, like back in the day, they used to just have all these blocks, so you just sat there and just watch all these shows at once. I remember what was the Jamie Fox and then Steve Harvey and then yeah, but on Wednesday night, Wednesday night, Jamie Fox, Steve Harvey, Wayne Brothers, and um something else. I been, uh, was it Par- no Parenthood came on Sunday, but yeah, I agree. Cut to everybody. So um, yeah, Jamie Fox was great. You know, Jamie Fox had the um when he was working at the hotel, he thought he was the flyest one. You no. Know? He was acting like he was, you know, bougie and he didn't want to do the work and stuff. So he he used to make Brandon do all the, I mean, Braxton do all the work. <laughs> and um, <laughs> he was in love with Fancy, of course. They did yeah, yeah. a little bit. Um, love, love at first sight, yo. That was love at first sight, yo. Yeah. Then the mother, the um, aunt and the uncle, you know, all the situations. Um <laughs> Which, but which, which, by, which, which, by the way, the legend, the, the legend, Gary Morgan, again. Gary Morgan, the, 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 the legend, Morgan. once again, once again, once again, once again, once again the legend, yeah. Gary Morgan, yeah, yeah. Some, give him some flowers, man. We gotta he give him just, some flowers too, bro. We he was just, he was just, he was, Martin. bro, he was just on Grand Crew, son. He was just on Grand Crew. He was. So I got check that. First episode, yep. First, he was the narrator. First episode, yep. I'm check that out. Um, legend, yeah. Legend. So, but Jamie Fox show when. He went into the jingle business. Oh yeah. I kinda tuned in a lot more because, you know, I enjoyed it. And then <laughs> Yep. They had um they had the road song. <laughs> oh yeah. I remember, get out of my house. Yep. Yeah. I remember going around school, I remember going around school singing that for like a good week or two weeks. Um yeah, Jamie Foxx was actually a great show. It was funny. I remember they had Mr. Biggs and, and Mary J. Blige on one. Oh yeah, yeah, uh-huh. yeah, 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 yeah. The, the past. I also have a fun fact for the show too. Oh, 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 oh. Right. Uh-oh. 
You go. Oh, you want to go now? Oh, oh that's you. So that's, first, that's you. It's your time. So my, so my fun fact is that the young lady that played um, the jingle writer, I forgot her name in the episodes, she's actually the additional member to invoke. I found out that recently. Because she, 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 she can sing and she can actually really blow in real life. Yeah, I know. So yeah, she was yeah. And she was like, she was on the show, but she's also um, involved now. It's now three and not four. Well, for a while it's been done, but that's actually her. Wow. Yeah, I, I, I found out that recently when I when when I was watching the Christmas um the Christmas movie and, mm-hmm. all, and I saw her and I'm like, oh, she's involved. Since when? Yeah, that's, that's I was that's sh- I was shocked. Mm-hmm. I, that's, that, that's how I found out. I found out literally like last year, <laughs> literally last year, last year Christmas. I literally found out about that. Wow, that's crazy. Um. Jamie Foxx, man, G. Louise, man, I love that show, man. Um, every character was funny. Jamie Foxx is talented, like I've like been saying, get that man flower. Jamie Foxx is talented, man. And, anyway, um, another show that I can watch all the time. Jamie Foxx is another show I can watch all the time. Yo, that show was funny. Actually, the first season, first season, first two seasons were very funny. It was the third and fourth. Fifth was funny. It was funny too, but um, first is, first two seasons was my favorite. Um, I like I like when they, when Jamie finally got with Fancy. I had a lot of I had many favorite episodes in the first season. Um, dang, I can't dang, I can't think too much right now. But I had many um, favorite episodes. But I got a feeling when I, when I get off the air, I, like, oh, damn, I, I must said that I didn't mention it. But yeah, but I, but now I love Jamie. I love, I love the back and forth between him and Braxton. Always funny, always funny with the back and forth. I, I love Jamie Fox, man. J- and Jamie Fox talented, man. Like, yeah, that yeah. man could really sing, yo. Fun fact is that um, around the time he had the the show, he came out with his album, Peep This. And th- this was his real first album, but nobody, it was it did not think good because people did not take Jamie Foxx as a singer serious. Which I'm upset because later when I heard the album, like, yo, this album is pretty dope. Yo, it was, it was yeah, that was the album, like, wait, because. People think that unpredictable. Yeah. Album, but it wasn't. It, it was it, it, it was it. It would peak this. And I heard it. It had many yo, it had a it had a 90 vibe, yo. I was like, yo. Like this album. But, was, but it was almost like, remember when um Eddie Murphy did party all the time? And yeah, yeah. It was like, yeah, all right, yeah. like people don't know where he's standing, or even now, like he's coming out with a I think a reggae album, which I'm scared about, but, but I, I, I heard that but, for uh, many years. I heard that for many years. About that, yeah, yeah, so he's gonna be coming out with an album soon. So, but some people don't take crossovers like seriously. Yeah, I, so. get, yeah, I get it. Yeah, that's, yeah. True. that's, true. that's true. But he can sing his ass off, act his ass off, and do whatever his little heart contends to do. Shoot, that man is an Oscar winning actor, man. I, uh, he's a he's a he's an Oscar winning, he's a Grammy winning singer. Like Jamie, Jamie, fuck, got talent, man. He do, Jamie, bro. Jamie got talent for real, man. I didn't wish that his next album would be straight R and B though, and not like no like not like the auto tune though. I hope that his next his next album is a straight R and B album, Jimmy Fox though. I feel like, like no, a, if you listen to Unpredictable, that's actually so. I won't no, so no, that's oh no, so no, 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 of course, yeah, of course. Yeah, no, Unpredictable was like one that like his album you could listen to it from front. Like he oh had yeah, definitely, his, definitely, and even definitely. and even not, not for nothing. I, like in real New Yorker now, but if you listen to Fall for Your Type, before well, even with Drake, yeah, that's like no auto tunes. Like Jimmy Fox can sing his ass, but he played it could. Song. He could. He could. He could. You know, he did on the show was great. Yeah, that, that's say that he that say that he one he one singer that don't need auto tune. He uses it to use it for fun, but he yeah, don't need it at all. He does it. Like, he does he it for fun. It. Like yeah. he did with like um. Was it even like blame the alcohol song? Like I don't yeah, think yeah, he, yeah. for fun just T Pain was on it, but Jamie Foxx he really sing singing real life. Like he, no, no, he could like, sing in real life, man. He could. He could. Right. That's why I, I love, I love, that's why I love him in art. I say that I want his next album to be a straight R and B album, no auto tune, nothing. Like I, we know he got talent. We know he got talent. This is the unpredictable. It's an amazing album. I still love. I, 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 love I got that. I brought that album. Amazing, so. I, I brought. I brought that album. I love that. Oh. I brought that album. So I brought that album. Under the big move. All right. Next, we got the, the Steve Harvey show. We gonna let's stay with the WB route. We, we got a few more shows left, y'all. We got a few more shows left. Um, the Steve Harvey show. No, that show. <laughs> Oh, oh man, that, bro. that that was a good that was a good do you do. Yeah, 
Yeah. The Tenor Bar. He was also in the Cosby as well as Stanley. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, stuff like that. Uh, yeah, man. Um, Steve Harvey was a funny show. I know I gotta hold you. Steve Harvey was a funny show. No damn suits. Steve Harvey with the suits. Steve Harvey with the suits. And a high top. And then, you gotta be a sad me. Yo, once she got added to the show, the show got a lot better. So once her and and um, Lori Beth got added to the show, I, oh, I yeah, thought Lord to enjoy it. Wow, yeah. I thought to enjoy it a lot more. I thought to enjoy that show a lot more once they got added. Those two got added. No, Steve Harvey was funny. Um, Cedric, him and Steve Cedric friendship was dope. I remember my favorite episode with the Big King on the show, and it had the um the high tops. Yeah. The fuck? Oh. No people gonna do. The high top right? And then they had to one. They had to one so called. They had to one so called. But they got like, but they got like. I was like, I'm dumb. Y'all love. I love. Steve Harvey the face show though. I mean, I didn't go home. It's not a shock about it all the time though. But Steve Harvey was funny though. And then the prince with Gina. Yeah, 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 yeah. Regina, yeah. Um, Ra- Rachel, Ra- Raquel, Robson, and Regina. Your dream. She was a, she was a bad around. Wendy Rockwell, yeah. Uh, Raquel, yeah. She's, she's still going. So I love she, her. She, she oh. is. She, she is. She don't she even is. look like she ate. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. She do. She do doing the game. She, she looks. Yeah, she's on the game. She looks amazing. She does. Yeah. She does. I, I, yeah. I gotta catch up on the. I gotta catch up on the game though. But on um, the reboot, but. But you know, she yeah, but she she do do but Steve Hart do his thing, you know, just Steve, <laughs> just Steve, which is pretty funny, I ain't gonna hold you. Cedric is do his thing with um the the neighbor do one. Everybody, yeah. everybody's still doing their thing that they could, man. And and um and um Davida is I think she she's on the show too. I just can't remember what show she's on, but she's on the show too. Davida's on the show, wow. Yeah, I just can't remember what show it was. But she's, she was she's another actress that had a really amazing um, career, too, because I hate bringing this up now, now I feel kind of ignorant. But <laughs> <laughs> y'all remember um, um, Don't Be a Man, is it Marlon? Marlon yeah. Wayne's yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, so for a lot of people, they were introduced to her based on that. But when you look at her, her forte and you look at her catalog, that's the word. Like, she's been around in the game for a minute. No, so yeah, for a long time. A really, a, a really, time. really great actress. So, yeah. Yo, I, I remember this one scene. It was mad funny that um, it it was it was from I believe it was from he went back there on the um, Cedric went back there on on um the Emmy and, and all it was, it was funny. All the scene was Cedric wife for each show, where they showed Nancy Nancy Nash from Soul Soul Man. They showed Davida from Steve Harvey. And they showed Trisha Arnold and from Neighbor. And all of it comes for Cedric. Like Cedric, you should pick me. You know, I, I was your first wife on the show. I was your second wife on the show. And then the, the, the Sadie, I'm, I'm the best wife from the Steve Harvey show. You should. You, we had the best. It was mad funny. I got, I'm, I'm gonna send that clip to you. It was mad funny. Yeah, send that clip because I don't know. Where it, it, was, it, it was mad funny. Yes, it was mad funny. Up, hold on, wait. She pulled up with. That's the first time I've ever seen a female pull up. She had a whole t-shirt, the long t-shirt back in the day, y'all, with his whole face on it. So <laughs> she moved differently. She 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 different. She real different. Real Facts. different. Real Facts. different. That's but, crazy, bro. Like Steve Harvey show was good. Watch, I still watch. It was, it was. I mean, and I mean, I, I, I mean, I do watch it, but it's not my, it's not my favorite show that I would watch all the time. But I have to watch it though. If it come on, I like, I watch it. I watch it. Depending on my mood, I would, I'll definitely watch Steve Harvey show. Especially the Bully Girl. Um, oh yeah. Ah, uh, I don't exactly. I can't even think. Right I know now. what I'm talking about, right? I don't exactly talk about. She but, wanted, but, she wanted Romeo so bad. Yeah, she did. But it but reminded it, me of, well, this is real life, so I can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> reminded me more of um, Helga and Arnold relationship in a way. I, I, I know. I'm, you, you can relate. You can relate a cartoon to a real life, a, a live action show. It, it, it's relatable. I know exactly what you're talking about. It's relatable. But it was one moment of Steve Harvey show that was, was powerful when was they it? brought Steve, when they brought um, Snoop Dogg and Diddy on the show, especially after the, the whole. Um, Tupac and, and Biggie passed away, got shot. So they brought them on the show, you know, with like a, a East Coast, West Coast type of thing. And oh, it, it was a dope moment. had a lot of cameos. Yeah. They had a cameo too, yeah. 
Yo, yeah, they they like Carol too. did a couple of episodes. Oh, you're right. 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 They did. There was Steve, there was Steve Harvey, um, I don't know, et cetera. One of them nephews, I believe. Yeah. If so I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so there was on a couple of episodes for this. Yeah. And it's like back in the 90s, they sold the whole Keenan and Kel thing together. So they just kept doing cameos on all type of shows together. No, they did. They I did. think there was one Sister Sister as well. Oh, yeah, there was. I have, was. I have a fun fact. Oh, there you go. There you go. The yeah, bottom, you know, yeah. The, the bottom B fun fact, y'all. The bottom, the bottom B fun, fun fact, Fun fact y'all. is actually... Steve Har- Harvey, excuse me, is Nick Cannon's mentor. Whoa! That, uh, I, yeah, that makes that makes sense. It that, makes sense. That that, that makes that's sense. That's mentor, actually. Steve Harvey. Yes, it is. That makes sense. Yeah, I, think, I feel like they can't have mentioned it before. That definitely makes sense, yo. It doesn't matter. I would have thought he was. So it doesn't matter. I would have thought he looked up to Will more though. But okay. No, that, that's his actual mentor is um, Steve Harvey. Wow, mm-hmm. that's, that's new to me. Wow, yeah, that definitely makes sense. That definitely makes sense. I, I, I can see that. I can see that. I could really see that. I could really see that. Um, next we got the Wayne brother. We, we, we got, we got two more shows off the WB route, and then we got a few more shows left, and we done. Yeah, <laughs> the Wayne brothers, y'all. The Wayne brothers. Yo, the Wayne brothers. I still even watch it now, man. Show I don't know, was, Roddy, you, I don't, you're going to talk about this, right? You do your thing, Roddy. Uh, yeah, the show was extremely funny, man. I I love it. All seasons, anytime it come on, I watch it. Um, they kind of um, OD with the, with the MJ jokes. <laughs> but it is what it is. Um, let's see. Then they, they had the, um, the girl, Paula J. Parker. As oh yeah, the, um, yeah, yeah. As the the lady, and then of course D, they had um, they had um, pops. They had Marlon, Sean, the white boy. They had the um the friends, the fat one, Dupree, and yeah. um, what was the other guy name that they always used to make fun of? That says he's like tacky. Uh, I know what you talk about, but I can't think of the name right now. Yeah, it was a very entertaining show, man. I like, lo- I love it. Um, it it was like very creative. You know, Sean was Sean. It came up, you know, because some some seasons you had um them in the diner. Some seasons you had Sean in the newsstand, and then Sean was working. And then Marlon was just basically following him. He did. He tried to go into a cult. He also, um, they had to rescue him from the cult. Mm-hmm. There was a lot of there was a lot of stuff that happened. It was a very funny show, bro. That's why I said um, these brothers. Um, I well, first thing first, rest in peace, John Witherspoon, man. That legend. That um, man's a legend. Bro. That man's a legend. Um, Wayne Brothers, The Boondocks, Friday, Friday. Man, legend, man. Give you know, rest in peace, John Witherspoon. Um. The Wayne Brothers, I enjoy Ray Brothers. I ain't gonna hold you, not a show that I could watch all the time. Like, uh-huh. at all. Yeah, not a show I could watch all the time. I mean, at least not now. I can watch it now all the time. Back then, of course, but now, I can't watch Ray Brothers all the time. I, like, I, like, I see, it was it was funny, but I don't know. Not, I, don't, I, don't get, I don't get the same feeling watching Wayne Brothers now than I did back then. But if I'm in the mood to watch, I'd probably watch it if I'm in the mood. Of course, John Witherspoon was my favorite character off that show. Um, and, and Marlon. And Marlon as well. Marlon but didn't that, Yeah, but I didn't have Marlon. Yeah, but I didn't that. Yeah, I don't really have much to say about Wayne Brothers, though. What about you, Umbana? I want to back it up a little bit. because um, So, we have to first recognize the Wayne's empire. Yeah. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, let's just go, like, back to 11 Color and, like, that whole situation. Oh, yeah, def- definitely. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. <clears throat> so, I do feel like that's one of the families that we don't really recognize as much. 
but that family has moved strategically and has they did they the assignment was done and completed and and mm-hmm. and so on and so forth um especially when it came to eleven color and all and and scary movie and all the spinoffs like they were yeah. smart with what they did um I love the Wayne's brother. I love it because, again, I love their family. I loved, you know, how Sean and Marlene, they were just kind of the same but opposites, you know. So I was here for it. I loved it. Again, I love Pop. Um, John with a Spoon loved it. I love Didi yes. coming. Again, if you watch Fridays and you know this, this is organic for Didi and for Pop to be together. Back, um, back, 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 back to the movie. Back. Um, so I feel like once you know that the history of the Wayne's family and dynasty, you you got to put respect on it. You can't. Yeah, that I loved it. I was here for it. I'm, I'm yeah. here. Also, shout out to a trial called Quest for that theme song, yo. Definitely, mm-hmm. that was me. Theme song. That theme mm-hmm. song is a classic too. You know, but um. So what I'm hearing is again, shout out to Queens. Yeah, go for it. Here she go. Here she go. Shout out to Queens. You know, please get the money. So we just do what we do. But yeah, so no. But um, yeah, so I I love the ones brother brothers. I was here for it and and all the shenanigans. (laughs) All right. Next we got the parenthood. How y'all feel about the parenthood? Meteor man. Yeah, my guy Robert Thompson, man. And that man's still so, working to this day, man. So, side note, if you've never watched Meteor Man, I need you to stop and oh, pause damn. it. And go watch Meteor Man and understand the, the genius that he is. Fact, um, wow. because Ooh, she's he's Louise, the, yo. I love that movie, man. I, I love exactly. that Exactly. He's, he's directed so much. He's yes. started so much. And, and I loved it. Um... So yeah, so I love the parenthood. I love the, the, the again their aspect, the dynamics. It was it was a good show to watch. It was. Make sure you watch that Media Man. No uh, Media, yo, hold on. Yeah, y'all gotta look at Robert Thompson, Carlo, Media Man, Five Heartbeats, Hollywood Shuffle. The list goes on. That man's a legend. Get that man. But you, but you know what? It's you know? crazy that people have never seen Media Man. Like they've seen the uh, Five yeah. Heartbeats. But have never seen Media Man. I'm like, are you serious? I, I, like, I, saw, I, saw, I, I saw Media Man at the movie as a kid, son. That's by me. I that's, remember that movie, seeing the Golden that, Lords and learning who another bad creation was before that, Aisha. Like, I remember my life. That, yeah, like, yeah. Nah, see, Media Man believed that it, that it was a black superhero, son. Like, I ain't gonna hold you. That, yeah, that that movie made me a believer as a kid, son. I'm not gonna hold you. So yeah, Media Man, Media Man taught me a lot. But Parenthood, I enjoy Parenthood though. Oh man, you ain't know Re- Regis, man. My God, another childhood crush, Regis, man. Jeez Louise, man. Yeah, she was, she was cute. She was a baddie. I mean, of course, the I mean, the phase of love was funny on Parenthood. Of course, last season they changed phase on and put, added um Kelly from who was on One Hundred and One. And 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 having the show with downhill, Sally, and then this did bad, but I I, I enjoy um the parenthood though. I watched the I watched the whole series recently, yo. That show is very underrated, son. I love it, man. It's oh, yeah. oh, underrated, oh, bro. Oh, also, rest in peace to the mother. Susan got her name. Susan yeah, got her name. Super Gubby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She passed away too last year. So that's another thing too. Yeah, Jeez. that's why we got we're checking. Yeah, Suzanne Douglas. Yes, yeah, she was Douglas. also so a fun fact. Sorry, here I go, y'all. Oh, you go. If anyone, if anyone have ever watched the Inkwell, oh my which god, is one of my I love that movie. I, I love, love, love that movie. movie. I love well, that movie. she she played the sister in law to Tate, Lorenz yeah. Tate's actual mother. <laughs> So yeah, so she's Susan Douglas, amazing actress. So yeah, so she, she passed away last year. She did. I love that movie. I, I, I love. I love that movie. Yeah. Equal, equal, man. I love that movie, man. Yeah, recipe to Susan Douglas, for real. How you feel about um, Parenthood, Roddy? I love Parenthood, man. I loved it while it was coming on, and Max, me too. If man. if I could watch it now, I'll find it. But it's like. They don't give that show enough love. Like, why is it hard to find? 
I, I, I watched the whole series, series on YouTube. I found it on YouTube. I understand YouTube, but like we have yeah, all but, these but, but, but all the streaming services. I agree. No, I agree. All the streaming services. I agree. Like after the, after it was canceled from the WB, you just never saw it again. That's true. Yeah, that's one show that you never saw again. And it's and, weird because like you had BET, you had MTV that was drawing throwbacks. So like, what was good with the copyright from that? Nobody was able to get it. No, I'm saying I don't know. I mean, I, I agree. I mean, maybe it's on HBO Max now, but I don't. Know, I don't know where. Oh, actually, yeah, it's on HBO Max. Actually, wow. Okay, oh, there you right, go. HBO Max. There we go. HBO um, Max. HBO Max. There you go. So yeah, the show was very underrated, like you said. So, very, um, very underrated, sir. That's she the weed, man. The most, the most memorable episode was the one with, honestly, with celebrities. Yeah, they, I'm, had, I, they had the brat and um Tyrese in there. Yeah, being dogs and chewing up people and stuff. And they yeah. had Usher singing for um for the Zodia birthday. Yeah, Zodia. Yeah, Zodia. Yeah. Sorry, your birthday. Yeah. Yeah, Regis, man. Regis, oh my God. Regis is a bit of so, a. So, yeah, movie. like, the show, the show, like you said, was very underrated. I wish it could have did better because I agree. I'm pretty yeah. sure that it probably ended because of ratings. It, it, it was. It was. Because at the phase of love, um, I don't know when he got fired or he left the show. After they, he left the show and they had um, the dude from 101 who played Dwayne in 101. That when the show the, the ratings started going down right after that. And, but then and what was, about Michael departure? Oh, the I brother. forgot about that. I forgot about that. They just had a lot of all I'm saying is this show had a yeah, lot of cash changes. Yeah, they did. They did. It I was just it was just a lot. Like it could have like it I had so much potential to be greater because but it is what it is. It just it had a lot of cash changes and it just fell off because of that. And yeah, it did. Um, yeah, cause yeah, cause Michael left the, after Michael left the show, they brought in that that dude that that dude that started living in that, in that house. Who was a thug? I think he was a thug. Yeah, yeah. Him. And then he he, he carried the name with TJ. I think TJ. Yeah. T- TK. 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 Yeah. And I actually like me. I actually like me. He was on the show. I actually like me. He was on the show. I, think, uh, I guess they try to say Michael carried it with the college, but you know. But yeah, but um, and then TK TK got the father shot, and then Zarya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right, right. He was in the football. Oh, yeah, yeah. Zarya doesn't want to lose him right then and there. Yeah, they, yeah. They, they him for that. Yeah, yeah. That episode, yeah. I, it, it, I'm paying yeah, with the. Love if you want to cry. It was no, that episode was sad. It was. It was. They would hold you. But um, but yeah. So we all switch it up a bit. We got. We almost done with this, yo. So how y'all feel about Sabrina the Teenage Rich? It was original on ABC, but they moved it to WB um later. We can we can skip it. It's not like it doesn't <laughs> sit hard with me. We can skip it respectfully. <laughs> I mean, I ain't gonna hold you the only you know, shout out to Melissa Joan Hart. It was a good show. I go hold you. I did watch Sabrina and Teenage Witch. My favorite character, of course, was Salem, the cat. Salem, of course. It was a great character, but other than that, um, he was unapologetic. He just said what he was. He said. <laughs> he was unapologetic. But yeah, besides her fucking off, yeah, no, I'm. We can. Yeah, <laughs> we, we, we can move past it. All right, what about Clueless? What about Clueless? Dion, yes, I was here for it. I was here for again, black girl being luxurious, and I was here for. Um, was her name Cl- not Claire? Cher. Yeah, yes, yeah. Cher, I loved her with her whole closet in the movie. Um, so like, yeah, as it, and I did have the, I did. I'm guilty, y'all. I had the coolest phone, the as if whatever phone, so you could uh, press it with was like when someone got on the phone, like so I would share it, and it would be like someone's listening, and then my mom be like, the phone, but I could be like, you're listening, so yeah. Uh, but I, don't know. Was, I feel like Dion. She, I was here for her and um, her the oh her boyfriend. Oh my god, I forget his name. Phase on love. Phase on no. Phase on. Phase on. Yes. Yes. On, yeah, I think I'm right. Yeah. Phase on love. Who's actually the brother of Alamade. So this is how I know I'm old. Oh wow. So he's actually the brother Ooh. of Alamade. Who was back in the day. There was a group called Imagine. And oh, I think I remember that. Alamade, Alamade was the lead singer, and his and and Faison is actually his brother. So there we go, y'all. What? 
Oh wow, I didn't know and that. He was, wow. he's actually in one, in one of the videos too. So. Oh, oh my bad, my bad, my bad. His, do- his name is Donald Faison. My bad, my bad. Donald Faison. My bad. Yeah, I'm nominating him. My brothers. Yes. Wow. I, um, Clueless. I mean, of course, you may know Clueless started as a movie and then it turned to a show. First, it was originally on ABC, but then UPN. Then when then it went to UPN. Um, I watched Clueless. It was it was a cool show for what it was. But Faison, but Donald Faison, my favorite character. Shout out to Stacey's dad before she is what she is now. <laughs> um, 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 no, I'm not surprised about you, um, Bonham, that you got the the coolest stuff. I'm not surprised about that. Clues was I. Clues was a cool show. I right, would have put you, Roddy. I didn't. I didn't watch Clues during the time. I give it to y'all. All right, all right, we are almost done, y'all. Next, we got. Even though this show was not on network TV. It was on cable TV. I managed to watch it a little later, though. Kenan and Cal. We mentioned Kenan and Cal earlier, too, so we might as well talk about the show. It is, it, it is a popular clip con, so why not? Who loves Arvin Soda? Cal loves Arvin love Soda. Is it you? Is it you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I, do, I, I do, I do, I do. <laughs> nah, you ain't not love Kenan and Cal, though. That, oh, a funny, funny show, yo. Always been a funny show. Um, uh, but I... I feel like we have to go back to all that. We have to give this. Of course, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Well, I mean, because the, the, all that kind of <laughs> launched a lot of people's careers, yeah, and, yeah. and 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 it kind of just went from there. And that's why, again, is it Kel or Ke- who's on Saturday Night Live? It's Keenan. Yeah, Keenan, Keenan, Keenan. Keenan, but even Kel's doing his own thing. So yeah, Kel. Yeah, Kel, so, Kel is a- and I well, and I still want to taste the good burger. I still want the special sauce. I'm still trying exactly. to want to figure that out. Like, what is it about? And uh, you had George. And you had George Clinton in your movie. Oh yeah, fast. Yeah, true. Go to bed after this. Like this, this we're done. <laughs> well, well, first thing first, y'all. Listen to the old school show episode of Nickelodeon. Yeah, it's a lot, a lot of information, a lot of dope information. Yeah, check out the episode. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, I agree. Keenan and Kel, they thought up on all that. They were so successful, they they could only get in the old show. And the show was successful as well. Um, their finale turned out turned out turned out, out their finale was a movie. I didn't I didn't know that. I didn't know that season. Yeah, season, the um season season movie, yeah. better than none. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know finale, that. But no. I don't know because when the very last episode of the actual show before the movie they kind of gra- they graduated. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that one. Yeah, I remember that one. Yeah, but I, I that count one. that more as the finale. I agree. Me too. Me too. Me too. I don't count the movie as a finale because most of the times yeah. when people make TV movies, they just make it. Yeah, Benjamin Nick Nick Nick, Nick would do that. Nick always do that anyway. Just just because <laughs> just because. Wait, wait, Good Burger was it? It wasn't in the movie theater. Are we sure? No, 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 no. no, no Good Burger was. Good Burger was, but but uh, we talking okay. about for the actual. We for the actual show. Okay. Okay. Oh, for the actual show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but, go ahead. Good Burger was amazing. Good Burger was. No, what we're saying is that when it comes to shows, they be the doing movies. Series, yeah. They be doing movies just because, and it don't be the end, and or it doesn't make no connection. It just yeah. be back a lot. A lot yeah. of times they do. Yeah, because that TV movie, I don't think it's connected to the, the series to me, though. That's, that's the finale. It doesn't feel like it to me. Yeah. But other than that, Keenan Kelly, it was a dope show. Shout out to Keenan. He's killing on Saturday Night Live. And his show, Keenan. Keenan is all right. Shows are right. And then, of course, I, uh, um, the Chris. Of... Huh? Chris, Chris Potter on the show was funny. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Kel, he's he, um executive producer of the new version of all that. I don't know if it's still on right now, but but yeah, but he, he the no, if, if he if he's saying when they can, he's getting money, so he's good. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're all good. He, they're, they're all, all good. Yeah. He's they're good. They're good. Yeah, they're all good. They're all yeah. good. Okay. Uh, yeah. Next, we got hanging with Mr. Cooper. <laughs> I, I don't have to withdraw it now. Yeah, hanging with Mr. Cooper at the, at the next show. I felt about hanging with Mr. Cooper. It was cool. I loved it while I was on. It was it was different. Um, I love the aspect of it. Holly Rabbit's and Pete, yeah, and doing all that. But yeah, it was it was it was cool. I have nothing else besides that. Um, you know, one shout out to Raven. Raven was on. Hang with Mr. Cooper. Holly Robinson was on it. Omar Gooden was on it. Mark Carey, of course. Um, it was a cool show. It was a it's a long time since I've seen that show. 
I know it's on Hulu. I know it's on Hulu, but um, yeah, it was a cool show. I got I got to watch it again to refresh my memory more. I didn't know he was a, he was a teacher. So he was a teacher. I think a substitute teacher, I believe. And um, I kind of feel like it was like Coach Carter before Coach Carter. Uh, like, no, I kind of feel like it was almost like they kind of instilled certain things in him and and like almost like Coach Carter, Mr. Feeney, like a whole bunch of like a pot mixed up and then we got well, Mr. Cooper. Well, <laughs> well, the crazy thing is Mark, Mark Curry was in the interview recently and he was saying that Steve Harvey took his idea about the teacher, um, the teacher role and stuff like that and how Steve Harvey got more popular with that role while Mark Curry didn't get that much popular for Hangman with the Cooper. Steve Harvey show got more popularity. Yeah. But I don't know. <laughs> I'm just here. What about you, Roddy? I don't got, I don't got nothing to say because y'all all <laughs> Okay, there you go. Are we almost done, y'all? Then we got step by step, day by day by day. I just remember them, the intro, them being on a roller coaster and then being <laughs> in the little room and that was it. So that's <laughs> I didn't watch that show. I did watch it, but it was a long time since I watched it. The only episode I remember was Steve of Steve Urkel making an appearance on that show. Damn, that's bad. And it's bad. I gotta watch that show again too. It's been a long time, but I love that show when I had a kid though. Um we got two more shows left, and two of them is animated. Well, I don't know was a part of a spin, a part of a other show, but it, but WB brought it to 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 prime time, the Pinky and the Brain. Wow. Yeah, I remember it was also on that Wednesday, or no Sunday night lineup back in the day with um, I believe with Jamie Foxx, um, Parenthood, Pinky and the Brain, and then with Happy Hour. I'm, I'm I'm always the Brain, so <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm because I you know what it's nostalgic for me because I remember watching Animaniacs yep, and yep. like as a child it was like Animaniacs and Picking in the Brain so yep. um, I, I love it I love Picking in the Brain like one's crazy and the other one's insane yes yeah. yeah. I hate for it now I hold you I enjoy Picking in the Brain I, I gotta I gotta rewatch the old episode and the new episodes that's on Hulu with the Animaniacs the new the, re, the revival of it or the, re, the requel the requel of it yeah, uh, I gotta watch the new version. Yeah, yeah, there's this season two. Brain, was, yep, the, yeah, they was Yeah, they they on season two. Um, I used to watch it when it was on um WB at night, and that was I believe the other first WB cartoon that was came out. Did at it? Night. Did it? Wasn't it originally on Nickelodeon or part of um Animaniacs or something? It was a part of uh, his day. It was originally on Fox Kids, then they moved to WB because you know WB makes sense. Because WB makes and sense. probably Nickelodeon the reruns. Yeah, they can always find the real ones. But then, Picking the Brain got so popular. Aside, they got more popular than Animania, shockingly enough. That's they brought the They brought to the prom, they brought to the prom time at night. They, they played them at night. They used to come on Sunday nights. I believe that. I knew so got that popular, boy. Yeah. I, I knew it was popular, but I didn't know it got that much popular. But yeah, Picking the Brain was a, it was a dope show. I got to watch it. I'm, I'm going to watch it again and watch this new, new, new Picking the Brain too. Where is the new one? So it's on Hulu with Animaniacs. Oh, it's new Animaniacs. Like new episodes, new seasons? Yeah, new, yeah, new episodes. They're on season two now. Sure. You think they brought back the same people? It, yeah, it is the same people. Definitely the same people. Same yep. writers and all that? The... Yep. Steven Spielberg, all that. Yep. All the same people. All right. So we yeah. had the same feel. Good. It, it, it's just it's just 2021 content. It's just 2021 Jokes. Oh, got it, so, yeah. got it, got yeah. it. Yeah. So, so it's, 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 it's up to the fifth for this time. I got it. Yeah, basically, basically. And the last show, the last show, this show came out in the nineties, then got canceled, came back on, got canceled again, came back on, and that's the one now. We got Family Guy. We're gonna end it with Family Guy. How I feel about Family Guy? Oh boy, that's long ago. <laughs> Bala, Bala, how you feel about Fanny Guy? Family Guy can do no wrong in my life. I love it. I'm here for I watch that and then I watch South Park. So <laughs> I'm here for it. I'm all here for Peter Griffin, his bullshit, his shenanigans, for Stewie, his shenanigans. Because Stewie reminds me of my students some days. And oh, I'm gosh. like, oh my God, what's happening right now? But <laughs> I love it. Like, I'm so here for Family uh, uh, Yeah. Mm-mm. I love it. Um, I'm here for it. I- I'm not gonna hold you. I didn't watch Family Guy when it came on the first time in the '90s. 
I mean, I, well, I, well, I couldn't watch it. I couldn't watch it, you know. But when it came back on the second time, <laughs> when it came back on the second time, that when I thought about the Family Guy, I, and I've been watching it ever since. Uh, my favorite character, Stewie and Brian, off the back. I mean, Family Guy always been funny. It's always been a funny show. Like I said, I, I can't, you know, it's one shot I, 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 I got to keep, I, I always watch it. I, of course, I miss a lot of the new newest episodes these days, just like how Simpsons do. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, I, cool, I, watch it. Cool, I didn't have a good time to watch it, but just like let's like since I'd have to catch up on the new, new, uh, the last four episodes. I'm just saying. If, if you watch, but, if yeah. you can watch and sit through South Park, you can definitely watch Family Guy. Like it's not yeah. hard. It's yeah, yeah, it, it, it's not, it's not, it's not hard. I know one show that I haven't watched in a very long time is American Dad, but but that's a different, that's a different topic. No, that's boring, but. Family guy, <laughs> we're always here for that. We're always nah, here. Nah, nah, cool. I'm definitely here for Family Guy, yo. I'm definitely here for Family Guy, yo. What about you, Roddy? Oh, man. I love Family Guy. Like, I watch it every time. I'm not... I watch I was a Family Guy. Um, every character just brings out a different funny and a different story. Like, they really... They really did... I'm not gonna lie. This is really a great self show. Like... If Seth, out of all the stuff that Seth put out, he really strike gold with this. I can, you know? I agree. I, I, I agree. don't know. It's like, like, he's supposed to be putting out other stuff, but I swear that I don't think anything would ever top the show. I party. agree. I agree. He, like, he put out... Yeah, I agree. I agree with you, Roddy. I agree with you on that, Roddy. So it's I, like... It's like trying to... It's like, you know, you have so many different characters and stories i just it's always it's every 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 part of family guy is funny the meg stories the the quagmire stories the brian always trying to bang people and the stewie being evil and peter going to the bar with his friends all of that is funny you know they started to give give lois more more stuff now yeah probably. yeah but and they gave Crabmire his own show too. So, so Crabmire, the black guy, yes. Uh, oh, no, you, oh, you mean, mean Cleveland. Cleveland, Cleveland, Cleveland. Cleveland, sorry. Cleveland, yeah. <laughs> yeah. People sorry, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> but. <laughs> yeah, Cleveland. Yeah, Cle- um, oh, man. But one mystery is, like, how come they um don't bring back and intermingle the Browns from the Cleveland show. To, I agree, yeah. I agree, yeah. Like, they could... They, they they bring back Donna every now and then, then but yeah. they don't say nothing else with Rallo, but Rallo and Stewie probably don't get along anyway. But um, I don't know. I feel like he, he could use them in some other way. They could do road trips and they have speaking parts. I don't know. That's one thing I think I would like to see if I could write... Seth McFarlane and say, "Hey, bring back the bring back the the characters for that." I mean, they brought back Brian's son. Yeah. So I guess we'll see. Other than that, Family Guy get I, it gets a ten out of ten in my book. No, nah, I love Family Guy, yo. My favorite thing about Family Guy is flashback. You know where they go to the flashback segments. That was always my favorite. Oh part. yeah, that was always my favorite part for that show. <laughs> cutaway. They always be like, cutaway, cutaway. Cutaway. There you go, cutaway. Cutaway. There you go. There you go. And cutaway, yeah. man. And yeah, and I agree with you though. And I agree with you, Roddy. They should bring back the Cleveland family a lot more. Yeah, like I said, they do bring back Donna. They do bring back Rollo every here and there. Even um, Cleveland Jr. too. They bring they brought all of them back like a couple of times. But they, they should make bigger roles for them. Bring a bigger role. Yes, that's why I say more storyline with them. I agree. I even agree. with Brian's son, they brought him back for an episode recently. Oh, I got I got about the episode. That was know. probably like three seasons. That was probably like three seasons ago. Oh, 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 yeah, I did see that. I did see that. Yeah, but it, they could have made it like as Don, as um, as Cleveland's daughter and um, freaking Maggie friends. Like, they, y'all could, they could have made Maggie and Cleveland friends. Only because they could have made Maggie Maggie friends. Yeah, 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 yeah,
and, 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 and if they really want to add American Dad and Bob Burger too, just because. But yeah, I, I'm Man, for yeah. it. Tell us about Bob Burger. Hold on, you oh, missed my show. Bob Burger, Bob Burger, funny. I got, I got to tell about Bob Burger, but Bob Burger, funny. I love Bob Burger like no yo, other. Oh, so. and yo, and they just announced <laughs> a movie for Bob Burgers. A movie? Yeah, and I'm shocked that Bob Burger got a movie for Family Guy got a movie. I'm shocked about that. Damn. I am shocked about that. How Bob Burger got a movie for Family Guy? And Family Guy been on the air so many years. Like twenty, like the, the thing. I think Family Guy on the season nineteen or season twenty. It's, season I am one of them. Yeah, season twenty, right? Yeah. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm shocked about that. I'm shocked that Bob Burger got a, got a movie for Family Guy. Now. I'm shocked about that. But um, but yeah, yeah, that's the episode, y'all. The popular '90s, the popular '80s and '90s sitcom. Yo, yo, if y'all like this, we should do a 2010 a popular sitcom. Y'all down for that? Let's do it. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun with it. So, yeah, verse to my special guest, Vana B. Welcome back to the show. Thank you for coming back on the show. Of course. Of course. And y'all know course. she will be back. She will be back, y'all. She will be back. We're going to do part two a popular sitcom. Okay, so bar three, bar four, you know, we, we got some things cooking yeah, up, do, yeah, you know. Do, yeah, we're going to do part two of this sitcom with 2000s and 2010s. So we're going to be about to be back for that. And yeah, so Vana, you already know what to do. Drop your social media where everybody can reach you. All right, so holla at me on tw- oh, Twitter, um, Instagram. Sorry, y'all. Instagram, Vana, V-A, and that's Nancy, and it's Nancy, A as in Allison, I guess, underscore B, B as in boy, E as an elephant, two E's. Um, holla at me, DM me, we'll do all that, and we can talk from there. But big things are going coming in this, this new oh, year. Yeah. So thank you again, uh, Mr. Gentleman, for having me. Rod, you know, I love you deeply, so thank you so much. And you know, I'm off. Your girl is is, is down for the count. And I'm I'm, yeah, I'm I know going. she'll be back, y'all. Later this season. Or well, maybe next time. Who knows? And you already know my co-host the Star Rider Rod. You already know, bro. It's always been cool doing this with you, bro. It's always yeah, fun. Bro. Yeah, bro. Show. Yeah, bro. Just on social media where everybody can reach you. You already know. Just follow me at the Star Roddy Rod. You know, the Star and then Roddy Rod. R-O-D. D-D-Y. R-O-D. You know, I'm here and also catch me on Premiere Boys. And right now, I'm going on this pod- podcast tour. So look out for me on other shows. Yes, he, uh, you know, the star writer, I will be back on my spin, my other spin-up show, Mr. Gentleman Like the Pocket Presents, a conversation about music on February 6th episode. So the star will be back on the episode. You catch us every fourth or fifth Sunday, Mr. Gentleman Like the Pocket Presents, the old school show, and we'll be right back. Gang, gang. You are now listening to Mr. Gentleman Lifestyle Podcast Season 5. Two.